my channel it's your girl stage and i'm back with another freaking video so today um as y'all if y'all if y'all into the k-pop industry bts released their music video slash album um called proof uh they released their music video uh called yet to come so we're going to be reacting to it um this is the first time i've heard it so this is i'm gonna be just as shocked as you, so, or just as, you know, my emotions is going to be very much real. This is going to be my first time doing it as well. So, yeah. So, that's what this reaction is going to be. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope y'all, um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if y'all have any comments on what you guys want to see, uh, let me know. Um, um, in the description down below will be all my social media, so please go follow them, follow your girl. Um, also, in the description down below will be my vlog slash mukbang channel, so go subscribe there. I've been starting back posting on there, so yeah. Um, also, hit that post notification bell to be notified whenever your girl posts a video. And yeah, y'all, if you with it, let's get it, let's go. Okay, y'all, we back, so I'm about to start this. Or was it honestly the best? Cause I just wanna see the next Put it on the chin, oh I did it so good to my room that again Yeah, the past was honestly the best But my best is what comes next I'm not playing now for sure Can that hate him here to me about to get You and I best more when it's yet to come Korean. I gotta switch to English, y'all, because I need to know what she's saying, okay? Promise that we'll keep on That was the um if y'all like are really like K-pop fans or BTS fans, that was the statue that they had in Blood, Sweat and Tears. Y'all that's so for the day we die. I'm sorry, if I'm quiet, it's because I'm reading the lyrics and I'm trying to like figure out what they're talking about. But it's really, if y'all read the lyrics, it's really like sentimental. It's really like them saying like, we've come so far, but it doesn't seem like much has changed. Like, it seems like they're saying that, you know, we... Even though we're here right now as one of the biggest artists, we still haven't, it seems like they still haven't conquered, like, their feelings for being young and, like, did as much as they wanted to. 
or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Oh, Lord. My phone closed. Okay. I got to restart the thing. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's how I Oh my gosh, y'all, that is the really, and I don't know if y'all seen like their um, proof of, what is it, their proof of photo shoot that they had, but they was really putting like, um, what was it like, No More Dream, and I think it was Jimmy, no, I don't remember what Jimmy was, but it was like, it was a full circle of their lives and what they did and stuff like that. So it was like, it's so crazy because in this video, they're showing the exact same thing. Like the blood, sweat, and tears, and then the bus from probably represents no more dream. Because remember, they drove up in the bus, like. <laughs> was honestly wow that wow 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 like I can't really say much but like it's not even because I can't but it's like I'm speechless you know a lot of people saying they didn't like their recent songs because they're so used to the BTS that's so like sentimental and they're like their songs tell a story but I feel like I like their songs. I love their songs. Um, so, like, all the songs that they've been putting out, I've loved. Um, but it's like, those is fun. But, you know, I guess they also knew that they wanted a sentimental song as well. Not even sentimental, but they wanted their song to say, like, even though I'm here, I never fulfilled my desires as a young kid or like a young boy in their sense or like even though we've come so far it seems like nothing has really changed like it's really i don't know everybody interprets their songs different ways but um i don't even know what it really means um i'll probably look it up to see what it means um not right now but i just i that song like I don't know why it's making me so emotional like I just feel like it touched something in me like oh I'm so sorry but I feel like that song really touched something in me like I don't know what it is but like the best is yet to come like I feel like I'm so sorry I'm emotional but like I feel like um I have been going through so I guess that's why the song will get so emotional to me because 
Oh, I'm so sorry. But I've been, you know, in rough patches lately. And I've been trying to figure out ways to, you know, do stuff and figure out where my life is going now. So, like, that song telling me that the best is yet to come gives me hope, you know? I'm sorry. I know y'all didn't come to, like, see me be emotional and stuff like that. I'm so sorry. But uh, that's just what that song just did to me. Like, honestly, like, the best is yet to come. Like, I feel that. Like, that song, like, I'm sorry. That song really gave me hope that my life is going to turn out for the better. I, the best is yet to come and not to, you know, just keep worrying myself when I have no control over what's happening. I've tried everything that I can do, you know? So, like, that song really, like, hit me. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. Whew. But, yeah, I... I get that song a 10 out of 10, boy. Because, like, that really hit me. Like, it really did. Like, wow, that's, like, crazy. But, yeah, um, I'm so sorry this turned out emotional for y'all. Um, oh, but um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow all my social medias in the description down below. Um... Also, follow my main slash vlog channel. Hit that notification bell to be notified when your girl posts a video. Also, if y'all want to leave comments about what else you want to see, I do have videos that I've uploaded on my Patreon because I couldn't upload it here. But I think I'm just upload it here. Because at the end of the day, I did all this. And it wasn't even for the money. It was just because I wanted to do something like YouTube to get out of my comfort zone, honestly. Like, YouTube has really helped me become more confident. Like, you guys' comments make me more confident. Like, y'all interacting with me makes me more confident and more secure within myself. So, I feel like YouTube has helped me come a long way. And it's been over a year since I've been on YouTube. And that's crazy. Well, a little over a year. And that's really crazy. Like, I never picture, I always look at people and be like, how did they do YouTube and stuff like that? And here I am now doing YouTube because I love it, honestly. It's like YouTube has become like a passion of mine. Like me entertaining and helping people and giving advice to people. And them seeing me as a plus size woman or plus size black woman, however you look at me. Like being able to help you guys get y'all confidence and stuff like that. And give y'all advice is really rewarded to me. Like. I don't even care about the money. Like, I just care that I'm there as a plus-size influencer to help some people who has went through the same stuff that I did. But it's always going to get better. Like, just do stuff for you. Don't do it for nobody else. Because at the end of the day, you have to live with your... Um, you have to live with your life. You have to live with your choices. So, like, don't let nobody ever try to steer you wrong or get involved in your life, you know? Always do what's best for you. And your outcome is going to be better than you could imagine. But, yeah, God, oh, I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm done ranting. Um, but that song really, like, yeah. They did that song. They really did. Um... Their album is released, I think, on all platforms and such. But, yeah, um, if y'all want to see the music video, I will leave um, a link in the description down below the original. But, yeah, y'all, this has been Stacey and Girls Out. Bye.